Hello, Briggsy here, and today we're going to do something very new, which is going to be a monthly tradition on this channel. We're going to be doing collection updates, and so whenever, I, for about once a month, one day in one month, me and Dad, we both go garage selling, and you know, Dad sort of things, audio cassettes, CDs, vinyl records, I collect those sorts of things too, but I also collect, you know, DVDs and, uh, any toys relating to animation or Australian television or VHS tapes, whether they be pre-recorded or stuff people taped off the TV, you know, just a variety of different stuff. And I thought, well, a lot of my peers on other YouTube channels like Jared and uh, Aussie VHS and DVDs and many of those people, they do collection updates. So I'm going to be for the first time uh, doing this on a monthly basis, and I might also do it on other basis too, because I've got other collections that I've bought in the past. I also have um, hundreds of, uh, you know, stuff that I pick up at op shops during, uh, in between that um, month time. I also pick up a lot of uh, stuff at op shops. So uh, this is going to be uh, my collection haul for today. Um, of course, um, remember to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll just show you what I've got. Hi, Briggsy, back here. Um, I'm just shooting this on my iPhone. It's not going to be the best quality. I'm doing reviews in a few months, so I'm going to be buying a better camera to do this all on. So I've got to use natural light outside the front of my house. So uh, let's go get started. Um, I went to the Rotary Club, and this is one of the things I got. Peter Coombe chopsticks on audio cassette. And it's pretty good condition. Uh, it's missing the sleeve part there, the, but, you know, you know, what do you want for 50 cents? Um... We also have on CD from a garage sale, I purchased Richie Valens La Bamba. Now this is, Richie Valens didn't actually make an album during the time he was alive. Uh, this is a compilation album by Success Records. And as you can see, it's still got its big W sticker in, in there as well. It's got a list of different songs, but the weirdest thing about this one is it kind of like, get in focus, it says copyright control when it comes to the people who wrote the songs. Why would you write that? Why would you just list the guy who actually wrote the song, the person who wrote the song, instead of just saying copyright control? Yeah, gotta give in to that damn illusion, don't you guys? Anyway, so I also picked up some uh, DVDs. That was the only audio cassette CD I picked up, but uh, we also picked up um, some uh, some movies. Um, I've got here because I'm starting to get into collect. I'm in starting to watching. El I'm listening to Elvis now. So yeah, I think I think a bit of Jared rubbed off on me. So now I've been buying, you know, Elvis Elvis anything. So I've been buying the films on DVD. I found at a garage sale for two dollars each. Uh, Elvis Presley's Jailhouse Rock, printed by Warner Brothers in two thousand and five. Doesn't really have that much really special features. It only has like a trailer, um, the theatrical trailer. That's the only thing it has. But yeah, it's still pretty good. It's in good condition. Um, and this one is one of his later films. It kind of falls into his cliche pile of. Films that mostly have lots of girls, lots of kissing, and a lot of beach parties. Yeah, when you, in 1964, when you got the Beatles, you know, why would you want to go and see this? Honestly, when there's so many cliches. But this is released by Paramount, uh, Rust About. Anyway, it's probably going to be one of those films I'm just going to watch once. And, um, and um, yeah, this is the, D the D DVD here. And, um, yeah, that's, that's Rust About there. Um, then we have here, uh, this is was 50 cents to the Rotary Club, the ABC for Kids Let's Sing and Dance. Now, Jared suggested I got the VHS version, because the one they released a few years later, after 2001, in 2004, cuts out a particular little bear episode, just to make it shorter. So, yeah, if I recommend for anyone who wants to buy this VHS, wants to buy this, buy the VHS version. And I'll show you that's off the tape. It hasn't been rewound, by the way. I have to get around to doing that. So there's the label, and you can see there's a... Just, I'll show you, there's a print date underneath that, um, and there's just, if, on the, the inside of it. It's just, it's just a list of other ABC for Kids stuff. Um, some of them I do actually want to get, for example, um, I would like to get on VHS that, uh, on DVD The Wiggles World. Uh, but, yeah, so I got that, that's really good. My ongoing ABC compilation collection there. For 50 cents I also purchased... Hey, hey, it's Saturday. Funny photos. Uh, I'm not going to open this because, you know, there's going to be some rude photos in there. So, yeah, because hey, uh, funny photos on uh, Hey, hey, it's Saturday was known for that. But that was 50 cents. That was pretty good. I also got a bunch of uh, LP records from, I think, this guy that was just selling a lot of records. 
And anyway, so we got Sherbet's Greatest Hits. And uh, this is like stuff from 1970, 1975. I got this because it had Silvery Moon on it, which is a 1974 song. So that's the back of it. Uh, that one's pretty good. I also got Sweet and Sour. Now, if you're aware, the CD version of Sweet and Sour doesn't actually um, have, from Volume 1 and 2 of Sweet and Sour, the soundtrack. A lot of songs got cut out of it. So it's better off you go get the DVD, the CD, and the vinyl, I think. And it was also released on cassette, so I recommend also the cassette version as well. Uh, if you the cassette or the vinyl, it's, it doesn't matter. Uh, so that's the the back of the record. I like the the cut. I like the vinyls on these. Uh, like the inside artwork is awesome. Uh, and the sad thing is when they released that CD, they never released. The, they never released the. Um, they, they were going to release a DVD with all 20 episodes. Never end up happening due to copyright issues. So that's a bit sad, but that's... I love that. Like, me and Reese from AK Flemish Dog absolutely love anything with that ABC logo on it because it just looks so awesome. Uh, I wish they continued using that, but I think they changed it later on down the track. So there's a little pile of stuff that I've already gone through for you guys. But um, I love Jerry and the Pacemakers. I love... If you don't know me, apart from, you know, animation... There's, um, of yesteryear and today, and also Australian television. I also like rock and pop of the 50s, 60s, and 70s, whether it be Australian, American, or British. And so I got myself Jerry and the Pacemakers Greatest Hits. I already have a few songs on uh, different albums and uh, singles that I've bought in the past, but yeah, that's the back of it. And I'll show you off the record. These, some of this, I think I had, in total, I think I paid about $15 for all these records, all three records I paid. So there's the label, the, the old Columbia record, and no, it's not the Columbia from America, because over here they're called CBS, because of, so because, you know, EMI, who's now uh, out of business, own that particular version of Columbia. Anyway, so here's something that's completely hilarious, and I might do in a future video, a review with a few friends. The Young Talent Time get Board Game. Yeah, doesn't that sound fun? It's, it's, it's a bit falling apart, but all the parts are there. I got that for about $8, as you can see. And there's Johnny Young, the... Anyway, so... Um, and there's old and being so cheesy. Anyway, it's not... Now, it's not just any old board game like Wheel of Fortune or Sale of the Century. No, it's an audio cassette one. Remember those? Remember audio cassette um, based board games you used to have to get? Yeah, anyway, so I'm going to show you the inside. It was rattling around in the car when Dad died because... Rattling around in the car when we were driving up and down hills because he... he because, yeah, his car is very different than my mum's, but... Anyway, that's the inside of it. it. It also has the instructions and the actual audio cassettes that they come off of, that they come with the audio cassettes. So that's pretty cool. I'll show you one of them, what, what a cut, custom one would look like. Yes, yeah, probably not one of the best things Johnny Young put his name, Young Talent Time name to. I mean, all the other things like that stupid super sound sticks that makes you look like a complete moron when you play it. Or that classic NES game where... um. Johnny Young uh, is a piñata, and all the Young Talent team are beating him shit shitless. Anyway, do you remember that one? Yeah, I don't think you do. Because, yeah. Anyway, so here's the other um, stuff I bought. For about $5, I went to a garage sale on the outskirts of town, and I managed to purchase uh, a bunch of record VHS tapes for $5, all for $5. So, um, some of them have movies written on them. Some of them have, like, this, like, tempted to be taped over. Because it must have been like one of the ones where they reused it multiple times. But this one, I was quite shocked to see this. And I'm hoping this is stuff taped from 1990 onward. Um, this is The Big Gig. So, remember that ABC show that was like live comedy? And some people like Leno and Woodley were in it as the found objects with that other member as well. There was also the Dugout for the All-Stars and that parody of um, Pas pa Pats Patsy Bisco. Remember that? Yeah, well, apparently someone taped it. Hopefully it's going to be one that you don't really see much of nowadays because I am aware you can get the um, some, some of the Doug Epony All-Star stuff from Season 1 and 2 on DVD as a best of compilation. But yeah, they didn't release 3 and 4 for some reason uh, of the later seasons of the big gig. Uh, so it's my j job and many other people's job, like Donkey Shines and Flemish Dog, for me to try and find it. So hopefully that will still be on there. Actually, did you notice that? It's... It's not even a VHS label, it's a beta label. Look at that. <laughs> this person must have owned beta beforehand. And so it's just a variety of different things. 
And here's uh, the Briggsy Archives uh, love and hate relationship with the H with videotape machines. Of course, uh, Royal Shadow, that crappy brand that either they work good or they work absolute shite. Uh, these were sold a lot at Bunny Cunningham's Warehouse, but if you had, they also sold the THHX tapes. So, yeah, better off going for the THHX tapes if you want to do. Uh, um, if you want to, if you want to be a good collector, because I did get one recently, and it was like some sports event from the '90s of Channel Nine, and literally, it was like it was like screeching, and I was like, "What the hell's going on with that?" And so, yeah, I'm doing this all with one hand, by the way. But yeah, the the um the whole thing is like it was sc screeching. I didn't want to wreck my VCR, so I just decided to throw it in the bin. But hopefully some of these, yeah, will be good. I'll have, I'll have to check. And then there's, here's another bag. You got some of those later tape brands, like T, T, um, like T, T, D, K, Sharp and Clear. You got some Acme ones, remember those? And these very old, um, you yeah, know, Max Cell GUs that were very, um, GNs actually. Not GU, just GN. And so, yeah, so there's a whole b bag full of them there. So that's all I got at the garage sale, and, you know, this video was a bit of a learning experience for me, because I am a filmmaker in reality, and I do want to do reviews in the future, so if you, if you like this, like and comment, and tell me tell me if you want to see more of just me talking to you to the camera about what I get, because, you know, it's fascinating to see what people comment and say, what people say about any of the, the stuff I own, because for many years I've kept a lot of my stuff private to anyone on Facebook, but apart from that, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and tell me if you want more of this. So, uh, uh, I'm Ernest Briggsy, and I speak the truth about Australian television. See ya.